everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. A few weeks ago, I received a parcel in the mail that shook me to my core. If you're new here and you don't know, a couple of months ago, a company called Yes Style contacted me. They are... They are a Korean online retailer and they wanted me to do a video for them reviewing some of their clothes. So I did a $500 Yes Style haul and then shortly after that, they ended up following me on Instagram. To cut a long story short, I posted this picture on my Instagram and then a few weeks later, I received a parcel in the mail full of Sailor Moon makeup. So it turned out that the marketing manager at Yes Style saw my picture on Instagram, thought, hey, she likes Sailor Moon. Why don't we send her some of our Sailor Moon makeup? I'm not really a makeup channel as much as I want to be. I'm not, most of my subscribers are here for clothes. But I did say to everyone, if you want me to make a video about this Sailor Moon makeup, then please let me know. And you guys, let me know. You really did. So I have a naked face, I have naked nails, I have to go to the nail salon in an hour. So I figured what if I do like a first impressions and a wear test. So I'll put the makeup on now. I will go out to the nail salon, I have to come back, I've got to film a video, I have to clean up the apartment, I've got a lot to do today. So I thought it's a good opportunity to see how long this Sailor Moon makeup actually lasts. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here it all is. They sent a fair bit of stuff. Now, what I'll have to do is pull up the prices on the Yes Style app that I have on my phone and tell you guys how much this stuff is. I know it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie, it is very expensive. And I know that because before they gave this to me, I've been eyeing this stuff off for, I think about a year. I follow someone on Instagram called Lady Kawaii and and she was posting, uh, I think she posted one of these last year and I was like, oh my God, I need it. And I found it on Yes Style, but these are over 50 US dollars, which is, that's, I mean, that's a lot. So I never ended up buying them. So I'm very, very lucky that I was gifted all of this stuff. What you guys want to know is, is it worth you spending your hard earned money on? Now I'll just walk you through what they've sent me. So the first thing we have, oops. Hello mate. They sent me a couple of these eyeliner pens. Now these are colored eyeliners. So there's a yellow, a green, a blue, and a red. Now they're liquid liner, and they have a very, very fine felt tip point on them. They also sent three other eyeliners. That's a black one, that's a black one, and that's a brown one. These are lip bars. There's three different lip bars. You're not allowed to break any of this. There's also a small lip balm compact. Then there's a, this is, now this is all written in Japanese on the back, but I can read Japanese. So this says cheek color, cheek color. There's a second blush in this sort of compact, but this one, the blush itself is quite different to the other blush, which you'll see in a sec. Now, I wasn't sure what these were. It took me a little while to figure it out, but these are brushes. So you basically, pull it open like that and then the brush comes out like this so there's two brushes like that and I believe that they're meant to be cheek brushes and then there's also this compact which is apparently a face powder now I wasn't entirely sure how I was supposed to use this one because looking at it it almost looks as though the top of it actually has almost like a highlight color and then the rest of it looks as though it's like a powder foundation. And I wasn't sure if I was supposed to use this on its own or use it on top of foundation. So I put a poll on my Instagram story and most people wanted me to use it on top of my foundation. I might use one blush as a blush and then I might use the other blush as an eye color because it's a really, really pink, it's a really pretty pink color. So I think it might look nice on my eyes. I mean, I know you're not supposed to use blush as eyeshadow, but hey, I ain't no booty guru. Okay, so I've scooched you in a bit closer so you're up close and pastel. I've prepped my face with the uh, NYX Total Control and I haven't set it with a powder or anything and I've attempted to do my brows. I'm not very good at that <laughs> at all, but I think I'm a bit better than I used to be, that's for sure. So this is the powder here. Now I'll just pull up the information. This is what I put on my Instagram story because I really wasn't sure what I should do with this powder. So now this one is 43 US dollars on Yes Style. It does say that it is valued at 88 US dollars. Now for an Australian, that's a lot of money. I mean, I'm sure for an American too, but like US dollars to Australian dollars, we don't have such a good conversion rate. So 
As an Australian, I could never have justified paying that much money. Now, the first thing that I thought when I saw the cost of this, when I was first looking at this, I thought to myself, surely, how can they justify charging that much money? Sure, the packaging is beautiful. It's very heavy, it's very solid. It feels really well made. I thought, sure, okay, there must be something magical about the makeup itself to justify charging that much. Under product details, it says that it's natural translucent coverage soft focus powder for less noticeable pores, moisturizing ingredients such as apple fruit extract and apricot seed extract. Based on that, the fact that it says moisturizing ingredients, it seems to me as though perhaps the product itself is meant to be of a higher quality. It sounds as though it's got you know, beneficial ingredients. All of this makeup is made in Japan, which I love. I love Japanese cosmetics and Japanese skincare. It says this is lightweight, so I'm not expecting very much coverage. And it says that it's meant to be moisturizing. All right, so when you open it up, here's what it looks like. So as you can see, this top part looks a lot more shimmery than what this part does. This part looks almost like foundation. This part up here looks like a highlight. Oh, I don't want to ruin the pattern. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna take a photo of it. Okay, that's been immortalized forever now. I'll go in with the puff that it came with because I guess that's how it's supposed to be applied. It does have a mirror. Come here. You're being too noisy. Way too noisy. Can you just, just, just sit with me? Look. What's that? Do you think it's nice? Yeah, I like it too. Just do it like this. I'm so sorry if I'm doing this wrong, guys. Oh, that is way, way off in terms of colour. Oh, hmm. I thought that it was the wrong colour, but it kind of blends out a little bit to be more sheer. Okay, that's good. Doesn't have any smell. Okay, I'll go in a little bit heavier this time. I just went a little bit lighter then because I wasn't sure just how dark it was going to be for me. And under my eyes, I'll also use the puff for there. So what I'll be looking for throughout the day is whether or not the makeup is creasing. I'll see how well it actually sets it. I often find when I set my under eyes, they get extremely wrinkly because they just get so dried out. So I really need a powder that's got moisture in it. And this one is supposed to have it with that apple seed and apricot seed extract. It's very translucent, very sheer. Okay, Papa. Come back up here. I need my hands. No, no. So I think I'll just take a brush now and just do a light dusting over the top. Now these are very, very solid brushes. I'll just pull up the information on the website about the brushes so you get an idea, because they are very pricey. This brush that I'm using is called the Sailor Moon Miracle Romance Moonstick Cheek Brush. So it's meant to be for blush, but I'm just gonna see how it performs with the face powder. This is 34 US dollars in Australian dollars. Again, that's a lot for a brush. Wanna show them how it opens? So the bristles are very, very soft. I don't know if they're synthetic or if they're... Hang on, let me have a look. It doesn't actually say. This one person says that they've been using this brush for a year and they wash it pretty often. There's been no discoloration or shedding from the brush and it's still super soft. I will have a further investigation into that and I will put it up on the screen and let you know. Let's go in under the eyes, anywhere that I might need a little bit of extra coverage. Now it does look kind of brightening as well. I can see in the mirror here, it is a little bit brightening, like where I'm sort of concentrating it with the brush on my eyes. I feel like it's brightened up under my eyes a fair bit because it does have that kind of like highlighting fleck in it. Now I might just put a little bit on my forehead, some on my chin. So it hasn't really given me that much coverage, this powder, but it does feel very nice on the skin and I can actually tell that it's supposed to be moisturizing. I don't really know how to describe it, but it almost feels like damp. Like it's a powder, but it also kind of has like a, a, a wetness to it. It's really unusual. The way that I would see this if I were you, I would set myself in the frame of mind that this is a collector's piece. This isn't just a piece of makeup. This is a beautiful pocket sized mirror because it's got this lovely mirror on it in here. And I reckon once this is empty, you might be able to pop out the pan and then keep it as a handbag mirror. And I mean, it's still 40 something dollars is expensive for a handbag mirror, but it is 
a beautiful, beautiful design. So I feel like this is one of those things that you may just have to either bite the bullet because it's so beautiful and you cannot live without it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend exclusively buying it just for its beneficial properties as a face moisturizing powder, but we will see, we will see. Now there's two blushes. There they are, they're the two blushes. I'm thinking that I will take the plain pink one and I'm actually going to put that on my eyes as an eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this one with the swirl and I'm gonna use that on my cheeks. I'll find this one on the website and see what it says. $45 US dollars, down from 58 US dollars. The blush is formulated with moisturizing ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, collagen, and ceramide. The price makes sense now because hyaluronic acid is a fantastic, fantastic moisturizing ingredient to have in your cosmetic. It's also got collagen and ceramide. Just by reading that, I can say to you guys, now I understand why this is so expensive. The others I was thinking, they're just expensive because the compact itself is fancy and that's the only reason it's expensive. But this sounds as though it's got some quite high quality skincare ingredients in it. How to use, take an appropriate amount on your puff and brush and lightly pump and softly at the high position of the cheekbones. As you draw a circle toward the outside, if you slide, it will make a natural finish. Does this have a mirror? Yes, it has a tiny little mirror on the inside. This one didn't actually come with a puff on the inside, the other two did. So I will use the brush. I'm gonna use this brush. Man, that, that confuses me every time because I pull this off expecting the brush is going to be, uh, it's, and then it's not there and it's, Circular motions, okay. Oh man, this, this is so pretty. I have to take a photo of this one too before I ruin it. Now this one has a tiny, tiny mirror, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use that. That seems a little bit pointless that it's so small. I'll use a hand mirror. Okay, good, This isn't. it's not ruining the swirl. I'm so glad. Whew. Oh, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm having to build this up a little bit. I'm putting on blush. I'm looking at myself there, and now I'm looking at myself in that mirror. But looking at myself in my face mirror, I actually can't tell, but it is really, really quite blushy. That is so weird. Like, looking at myself here with this, it, it looks like there's nothing on my face. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna have to go back over the top with some of the face powder just to dial this down a bit. It did say in the instructions, if you swipe like that, it makes it look more natural. So now, the last one is going to be this blush. Now obviously this is supposed to go on the cheek. I think this may have sold out actually because I can't see it on the website. I'm just gonna use this as an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take my finger because I want a little bit of color on my eyes. Thanks Archie. I'm just gonna take it all over the lid. Don't be afraid to use your makeup for things that it's not intended to be used for. You can use lipstick as eyeliner and you can use blush as eyeshadow and sometimes I see people using eyeshadow as blush and highlight. As long as it doesn't have damaging ingredients in it, I'm sure that it's okay. Nachi's trying to sabotage my eyebrow game. I'm noticing that there's a little tiny bit of a shimmer, not much at all. It is the most subtle shimmer. Okay, how are we looking? Come on, Archie, up. So what I'm gonna do quickly is pop on some balm. Now there's three different colors. I'm gonna put on this middle color because I feel like it probably most closely matches what's on my eyes. Okay, this just has the tiniest little bit of pigment and a little bit of a shimmer as well. That applied very, very smoothly. It was very soft. It smells really pleasant. It doesn't have a strong smell at all. It just smells pleasant. So I'll see how that goes moisturizing my lips. Now, because they sent me seven eyeliners and I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to put on a black and then I'm going to put green over the top. Yes, green. Then I'm gonna put on some mascara and some lashes and race out the door. I will bring you guys with me to the nail salon just quickly because I wanna show you it is the most beautiful, adorable, kawaii place you've seen in your entire life. So I'll just show you that for a few minutes and then we'll come back, sit down, get some close-ups of all of these products and then do some swatches. Okay, so I just used this one on that side, but I'm going to try a different black because they sent two. I'm going to try this one on this eye. They're both black. I don't know what the difference is. In Japanese it says, 
Airaina. Perhaps they're exactly the same thing, but they're just in different packages. I'm not sure. I'll double check. Okay, I can tell there is a slight difference. This one actually seems like a darker black than what this one seems. This one seems a little bit shinier. This one seems very, very matte. Okay, so I'm gonna use the green now, and I'm just gonna go over the top of the black because I feel like that'll just be a nice little pop of color. Please don't break that. All right, well, because of the folds in my eyelids, you can't really see the green, it just kind of disappears. But I'm interested to see if it smudges onto the rest of my eyelid throughout the day. Just a quick close up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the look and then race out the door. Come on. I'm gonna head off to the nail salon now. I will be back in a couple of hours, but that's it for now. I'll do some check-ins on the way there and back and while I'm there and uh, see you soon, guys. Okay guys, I just finished up at my nail salon. I am so happy, look how pretty they are. They are so extra, so over the top. I kind of feel like Jeffree Star or someone. It's been about two hours now. The uh, eyeshadow is, well, it's not eyeshadow, is it? It's blush, but it's looking fine. The eyeliner, as far as I can tell, the eyeliner hasn't smudged. And my skin, now that's, hmm. It is very hot in my car. I, I don't have air conditioning. The aircon is broken. It has been for two years and I haven't fixed it yet. So it's very hot and sweaty in here, but it doesn't look like my makeup is coming off yet. It kind of looks like it's breaking apart a little bit on my forehead, but I can't tell if that's the foundation or the powder that I used. Under the eyes, they're about as creasy as they always are. I really gotta do something about that. I don't know what I can do about that. The blush is still there, looking pretty. I'm happy so far. We'll check in again when we get home. Alrighty guys, well it's been three hours. I am back. I have my nice fresh new nails. Look, aren't they beautiful? I'm so, so happy. I figured now that I have nice presentable nails, I can go over some of these products with you. I do have to film another video, a try on haul, which will already be up on my channel by the time you're watching this. So I'll put the link to it just here. You should uh, pop over and watch it. And you should uh, subscribe while you're at it. Join the flock. So what I'm thinking is I might just grab this face powder and grab the highlighting part of it and I'm going to pop a little bit of highlight up here and in my tear duct and then a little tiny bit on my cheeks just for my next video that I'm about to film so that way I'll have a little bit of pop on my face because I'm feeling very very matte, a little bit flat, a little bit matte. As far as a three hour check-in goes, I actually feel as though my face is very stiff. I feel like the foundation has really, really been set in place because I feel my forehead is very, very stiff. When I first applied it, 
There were a couple of fine lines on my forehead when I got in the elevator to go down to my car to drive to the nail salon. I looked at the mirror in the elevator and I was like, ooh, those forehead wrinkles, but they're all gone now. So I don't know if that's because of the powder. I don't know if the powder has like tightened everything up or what, but it doesn't normally happen with my foundation. If I just put the foundation on, you can normally see it setting into the wrinkle lines, but there's no real wrinkle lines here right now, so that's good. I'm noticing that I'm a little bit shiny just here, here, and here, and I suppose maybe that's a kind of oily part of my skin. I mean, it's weird because I find that my skin gets flaky and dry while being oily at the same time, so I suppose that's why I have a combination skin type. The blush is still sitting quite nicely. The eyeliner, I'm very, very impressed with. The green has actually kind of lost all of the green color though. It almost looks gray or black now, but the black itself is staying very, very black. It didn't crease, it didn't smudge all over my eyelid, which is fantastic. The blush that I used as an eyeshadow is also still exactly where it was three hours ago. It hasn't creased up or anything. So I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm going to run it just along the very, very top of this compact. There's that little tiny strip of a highlight. And I'm going to pop that up here. Ooh, yep, that's, that's there, it's the Hello Highlight. And I find it interesting that they put that little bit of highlight up there because you're actually kind of meant to swirl the puff all the way through all of this so the highlight kind of gets mixed in with the rest of the foundation color. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit here. It's not very brilliant, but it's not intended to be a highlight. It's more part of the face powder. I'm gonna see if I can maybe even pop a little bit there. Just really, really subtle. I'm seeing some shine poking through the powder. There particularly, there and around here. I might have to go in again. But it did say on the website that you're supposed to touch up throughout the day, so I think I can forgive it. I'll just go back in with the little puff. And I feel like this is the sort of thing I wouldn't even mind carrying it around and touching up throughout the day because look how beautiful it is. Like imagine if you're just out and about and you pull this out of your purse, go touching up your makeup with this, it would look beautiful. Everyone would be like, whoa, what's that? What's that? It's amazing. Weebs would be screaming for miles. What a good boy. I know what you're thinking. Give the boy an almond. Get yourself a man that looks at you the way Archie looks at almonds. So in terms of swatches, the eyeliners are a little bit mixed. This black eyeliner was lovely. It was such a joy to use. It's in beautiful packaging. It was so smooth going onto the skin. It hasn't been bleeding at all on my hand either. It's just been locked into place and that's the one that I'm wearing right now. And I was so, so impressed with it. The brow... The brown eyeliner wasn't particularly pigmented. I thought that it would be a little bit darker than that, but I still think that it looks quite nice and natural. It didn't come off quite as well on the skin as what the black did, but I do still think that this would be a really, really nice eyeliner to use. This one also wasn't bleeding too much. I did find that this one wasn't quite as dark as what the first black one was, but it was still really, really nice to work with, really easy to apply, has such a fine brush. All of them have really, really fine brushes, but I thought that this one had such such a nice application and it's long lasting. I have this on my right eye and the other black one is on my left eye and I've been really happy with both of them. Now, the colored ones. The colored ones, they look really cool. The green, as you saw, is okay. It's not as green as I would like. It comes off more as a dark gray, but it's still a really pretty color. Very, very easy to apply. The yellow was not yellow. I thought that this would be a yellow eyeliner, but it was actually black. And out of the three black eyeliners that I've tried, this one has been bleeding the most on my hand. The blue is amazing. This is probably one of the nicest blue liquid liners that I've used. I think it's fantastic. And not to mention the packaging is gorgeous too. Absolutely, definitely recommend this one. The red, I found the tiniest bit hard to apply when I was swatching it on my hand. And it also isn't a true red. It's more of a brownish red. But look, if you like the packaging, then this is the sort of thing that you would love having sitting on your desk. You'd love having Instagram photos of it. I don't think you can go wrong in terms of the look. If you like Sailor Moon, you would love this. The brushes are lovely and soft. They're very heavy. And I think out of everything, these are probably made the best. They feel really, really solid and they just look beautiful. And I love the way that they're... I love the way that they retract inside. That means that you can just throw it in your handbag and take it with you if you need to touch up throughout the day. I think that's such a good design. The three glosses are very, very sheer. The first one that I tried, which is the one that I'm wearing right now, this one, 
I thought that this was lovely. It's still lasting at the moment. I haven't reapplied it since I put it on three hours ago. And there's still a very, very subtle, soft touch of pink on my lips and they still feel very, very moist and refreshed. The second one, which was this one, this has more of a pink tone, like a hot pink tone, just as the packaging reflects. And then this one is very, very sheer. This is more of a just moisturizing gloss rather than, you know, a, a pigmented one. This is completely clear, but it is really beautiful packaging. I absolutely love the pastel pink color. This blush has such a beautiful color on my skin. I did find that I had to swatch it a couple of times in order to build up the color, but I think that's pretty good because it means that you can't accidentally go too heavy handed and end up with a really, really big bright pink mark on your cheeks. You have to work with it and build it up a bit and I think that that one was really nice. This one that I'm wearing on my eyelids right now, it's very, very soft and subtle and it actually seems to have more of a white, almost like a highlight kind of tone to it. It's really unusual. It swatches really strangely. It's a light pink, but I can see shimmery silver in there too. It's not available on Yes Style at the moment, it's sold out. This foundation for my skin tone, I think if you have a lighter skin tone, it'll be an all round kind of matching color, depending if you go a couple of shades darker or if you're light like me, but I don't think that this would complement people with darker skin, but they didn't seem to have any other shade ranges. However, this is Japanese. I don't think that the Japanese cater to many shades other than kind of porcelain to a kind of beigey color. So shade wise, I don't think that you'll be able to get much use out of this one if you have a darker skin tone, but it does have that lovely highlight at the top of it. The only problem is there's not very much of that highlight. It is just the tiniest, tiniest little sliver. Packaging wise, this probably has the nicest packaging of all of them. It's just really solid, really, really satisfying to hold. I do love it. This little balm, even though it's green on the inside, it is completely transparent. When I swatched it, absolutely nothing came off. I might actually put some of this on my lips right now, just to see. It's got a really unusual feeling. Not very much seems to come off when I put my finger in it. I actually think that this is a balm that is meant to be more beneficial for your skin because it seems as though it's got eucalyptus or something in it. So I feel like this one is actually meant to be like a proper repairing kind of balm, whereas these are just kind of like a tinted balm. So there you go, that's everything. That's all the swatches done. I will come back in a couple of hours time and give you my final thoughts on how I think this makeup rates. But so far we are three hours in and I'm really, really happy. Okay guys, well we've come to the end of the day. Now, as I said before, I did film a video this afternoon, which was very, very strenuous on the makeup because I was putting clothes on and off. I tried on so many things and I was constantly pulling them over my head, down past my face. So if anything was going to wear that makeup down, it was doing a clothing haul. I'm shiny again in the areas that I had to re-powder the first time. So that is here and here and here. A little bit shiny there. However, my cheeks, the color is still on the cheeks, which is very surprising considering how many items of clothing I pulled down over my head. My cheeks were constantly, constantly getting brushed by the clothing, but there's still a really, really nice warmth to them. It's not as strong as it was at the start of the day, obviously, but it is still there. My forehead, I can see it, the product is starting to kind of come apart at the top of my forehead but my eyes are still very, very pink. The blush that I put on my eyes is still fine. Most surprisingly of all, the eyeliner is absolutely perfect. I often experience by the end of the day that eyeliner has kind of ended up staining this top part of my eyelid up here just because of the fold in my eyes. It's still perfect. The green really looks gray now. It doesn't look green in any way whatsoever. It just looks like a lighter black, which is really unusual that it started off as somewhat green and now the color's changed. My nose, there is nothing left. Absolutely nothing left on this part of my nose. But like I said, I was pulling so many clothes down over my face so often that it's all just been wiped off. But all around the outside area, it's all still there. And it all looks really, really smooth too. Like it looks somewhat airbrushed on my cheeks. My pores, look, I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but my pores, I normally have very, very open pores around here. They're not as noticeable. 
Um, I mean, I don't know if that's just me imagining it, but I know that the powder was supposed to be pore minimizing. So that is interesting that I'm noticing that. It's looking quite airbrushed. I can see it's coming away here, but I had a huge burrito for lunch that got all over my mouth and I didn't retouch it from that point. There's really nothing out of the ordinary going on here. Like it all seems, everything seems in order, to be honest. My verdict, my verdict. Thinking in terms of Australian dollars, 70 Australian dollars, 70 Australian dollars, 70 Australian dollars. That's $210 for three things. I think this is about four or five hundred dollars worth of makeup. Now I wouldn't recommend to you guys to go buy all of these things. I would recommend that you watch this through and decide of the things that you saw. If you're interested in Sailor Moon, what would you most like to have in terms of, you know, for its novelty purposes? I would recommend getting something like this for sure. The quality of the makeup itself is great. Like I can see it has beneficial ingredients. You know, some of these things it had like apricot, apricot seed oil and all these, I know, I don't even know what it does actually. I don't know what it means and I don't know what it does, but it's fancy. So it is obviously a higher quality skincare than regular kind of cosmetics would have. What you're really paying for is this incredible packaging. It is absolutely stunning. I know there's a few different designs like this. I do think that if you bought it, you wouldn't be disappointed in any way at all, but it is pricey. I mean, it's like people that save up to buy a Louis Vuitton handbag. Like at the end of the day, it's a handbag, but it's like, it makes them happy. They love the style. They love owning it. They love owning something that's of a high quality. It's a brand thing. So I feel like if you want to save up for a little bit and splurge, maybe you're not going to be buying Louis Vuitton handbags, but maybe splurge on some Sailor Moon makeup because it is expensive, but it's affordable expensive. You know, like it's worth it kind of expensive. Now, eyeliner, let's talk about eyeliner. One that I would 100% recommend is this one. This one is still lasting and it's fantastic. I would also recommend the blue one. The blue one was beautiful. The other colors, not so much. The red and the yellow, the yellow wasn't yellow, and the green, they were okay. The only reason I'd recommend getting all of them is if you want that look. Like if you want all of those because they look so cool, if you want all of that for yourself, then yeah, go for it. But if you're just looking for a good eyeliner, I actually can't rave about these black ones highly enough. They are phenomenal, really long lasting. I cannot believe that they've stayed on. I mean, it's been eight hours. So eight hours worth of wear for an eyeliner for me, as long as the eyeliner can get me through a work day, it's great. Definitely pick up a black one for sure. It's worth the money and it looks magical. The lip glosses I would only necessarily recommend buying if you just love the look of them because at the end of the day, it's, it's just a lip gloss. <laughs> That's all it is, but it looks amazing. And the makeup brushes, that is really cool for your handbag. Like imagine if you wanted to just carry around like a face powder or a blush and a makeup brush in your purse, you would be the talk of the town. If you pulled this and you pulled this out of your purse in the middle of work or something or in the middle of school, it's so beautiful that maybe for that alone it's worth it. But if you're just looking at it in terms of a makeup brush and ignoring the beautiful component, then yeah, a brush probably wouldn't set you back that much, but you're not buying this because you need a blush brush. You're buying this because you're obsessed with Sailor Moon and it's beautiful. There you have it guys. Now, as you probably know, if you've been around my channel for a while, I'm very, very new at the makeup thing, reviewing makeup, talking about it. So if there's anything that you would like to see out of my next makeup videos that maybe I didn't do today, maybe if it's something to do with a wear test that I didn't do that I should have done, please drop it down below because I want to keep making content that you guys want to see. And I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing by you. If I've forgotten anything, please let me know and I'll make sure that next time I do a makeup review, I try to include it. I have a another $500 Yes Style Korean makeup haul coming up. They sent me $500 worth of Korean makeup that I unboxed live on Instagram. I haven't tried any of it yet though. So I'll be filming that video soon. So if there's anything that you want me to do differently in that video that I didn't do in this one, please drop it down below. Let me know what your favorite items were. I think everything is beautiful, but I think for sure either this compact or this one are my favorites. I just think they're stunning. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, join the flock. You can find us on Instagram. Those are our handles. You can also find me on Twitter. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.